a vast me hardy's it's your main man code worm and i'm gonna make a 3d pirate ship in godot or oh yeah we changing it up with this one so make sure you all like and subscribe i'm trying to 500 subscribers so your subscription is much appreciated and with all that being said let's get right into the video all right so i changed things up for this video so the first model you see is the deck of the ship itself and for this video i didn't use godot for it i worked in blender but i didn't get any recordings of that the reason i use blender for it instead of godot is pretty obvious is because blender just has more flexibility and more stuff you can do when it comes to modeling anyways 3d modeling that is things like being able to sure take you a long way so the first thing i did in godot was work on the sail all i really did was make a really long cylinder as for the sail itself i actually did that in blender <laughs> You may have noticed that my logo is on the sail, and that's because that was intentional, of course. Because I'm the captain of this ship, so you can just call me Captain Coding Worm, okay? Or what about the captain who codes, or the coding captain? Oh, those both have a nice ring to it. Now, one thing I noticed was that all these flags and stuff in these sails, whenever I go to make one of them, the back of them never show. Certain angles won't show it, but the other angles do. I ran into this issue when I was making a castle for one of my 3D videos. You should go check that out, by the way. Shameless plug. <laughs> Not sure if it's shown here but i did add a sail to the other pole and then i added this thing called a crow's nest to the top of that one this one could be done in godown pretty easily i just added a cylinder and then added another cylinder and turned subtraction mode on to add a hole in it and then i put a flagpole in the middle of it <laughs> And the next thing I wanted to work on was the steering wheel. For this, I would need a whole lot of cylinder shapes. I would make the wheel in Godot. First, I got a torus shape, and then I got a bunch of other cylinders to stick out of it. And at the end, I put a sphere or a circle or whatever it's called in the middle to kind of be like a connector piece. <laughs> Now since my ship was mostly done, I had to add material texture. For the deck, I would mostly use a generic wood texture because, you know, most pirate ships are made out of wood because they're like prehistoric and all that jazz. <laughs> So yeah, this is the finished project. Some other different things were added to add some more spice to the scene. I added cannons, and for that I used a rust texture. Rusty cannons on a pirate ship, that sounds just about right. I added a world environment and an ocean. You might not be able to tell, but there is a background. It sort of looks like a Doe's generic background, but that's fine. And now that this video is over, I want to do some outro stuff. This video was done at the request of a couple of viewers. See, I take these requests seriously. When you comment, you're not just making a comment, you're leaving a video idea. So yeah, keep doing that, keep subscribing. And now with all that being said, I'm out of here.